So these three machines are currently mining Bitcoin solo mining and looking for Bitcoin blocks. So today's video, I thought we'd get into kind of the calculations behind it, how much it actually takes, and if it compares to winning the lottery or actually the odds of the lottery currently. So this one is running at about one terahash. This one's running at about 0 0.7 terahash, and this one's around 0 0.4 terahash. So overall, we're looking at around 2 terahash on this rig. So today we're going to be using the calculation of 2 terahash for our calculations, comparing it to how much it's actually going to stack up against the odds of the lottery. So let's get into the calculations now. So here we have the calculations or chances of winning the UK national lottery. So this can kind of apply to a bunch of lotteries out there. Obviously, as the prize pool gets bigger, the odds of winning actually get smaller. But today we're just going to be using a smaller lottery with a prize pool of around 5 million. So that's 5 million pounds overall, so around 6.5 million dollars overall. So that's the figures that we're going to be going on today. So the reason that we're making this video, obviously we just showed you those miners, which are solo lucky miners. And the whole point of them is to basically mine on the network on Bitcoin or any other Bitcoin fork and try find a solo block, which is 3.125 Bitcoin that can be added into your wallet if you do find a block. So the way that it works is if you find a difficulty higher than the network difficulty, so this is our best one, which is 284 million, but this is 110 trillion. But if by any chance you do get one that's higher than the network difficulty, that means that you found a block at the time. So we have a bit act 204, Bit axe 400 and bit axe 601 there. As you can see, 900 giga hash, 575 giga hash, 400 giga hash. And when we scroll down here, you can see a rolling average. So we're sitting between 2.2 tera hash and around 1.6 tera hash. It keeps going up and down and up and down. But overall, on the two hour average, sitting at around 2 tera hash. So today we're going to be comparing the lottery odds against the three bit axes that we're running currently right now. So if you don't know how the lottery works, you can pick up to six numbers. I don't know what it is in the US. It might be more than six, but you can pick up to six numbers. And if you get them all right when they pull out the draw, that means that you win the jackpot. And the typical prize for that is around five million on a Saturday, but three million on a Wednesday. So you get two chances a week. But today we're just going to be using the Saturday figure so you get one chance a week at winning this. And the jackpot chance is around one in 14 million, as you can see there, for all six numbers. So there is obviously a price to paying the lottery and that is kind of factored in. And there's a price for Bitcoin miners as well. For example, these cost around 100 to $150 each. But the only caveat that I have to that point is you get to play the lottery basically for every block that is mined. So there's 144 blocks per day, which means that you have a chance of hitting one of those blocks per day. And then 144 times 7 is 1,008 chances. So you get 1,008 chances a week, whereas with this lottery, you only get one chance. Obviously, you can increase that if you buy more tickets. But with the bit axes, as long as you run them, that allows you to, in theory, have tickets for every block. So we're not going to factor in the price of the tickets over time because... We're mainly focusing on odds of the lottery and the odds are going to decrease as you go up in the jackpot price. So as we said, the jackpot chance is approximately one in 14 million per week. So you only get one chance at this per week. However, with solo mining Bitcoin, as I said as well, you get a thousand and eight chances to hit a block within a week, which is a lot more chances. And that means that within the week, you have a thousand or a thousand X more chances to hit a block on the network. So we have to do a calculation and we also have to scale it to how much the price of one block is. So currently we look at the price pool, let's say it's 5 million as the jackpot. That means that we'd need to scale 5 million up to the block reward that we currently have or scale it down, whichever one we're looking at. So let's first do that. So we have 5 million. The price of one block currently is 3.125, which equals out to about 130,000 USD. But let's just keep it to 112,000 to counteract some of the exchange fees. So we have 5 million divided by 
312,500, and that gives you 16. So if you brought down the figure and did the calculations to even it out to the number in the prize pool, so you have 5 million in the prize pool, but the Bitcoin block prize pool is technically 312,000 around that range. That gives you 16 in 14 million. So now we have to do 14 million divided by 16. And that gives us a 1 in 875,000 chance of winning. Technically, the odds aren't that, but if you scale it up or down, that is kind of the odds that you get. If you scale up or down for the amount in the jackpot. So technically, the odds are 1 in 875,000 that you have for this jackpot number. And that is scaled down to the price of one block. So remember, it's 1 in 875,000. Now we need to find out the chance per day for a block. So we can times it by how much chance we have in a week. So on public pool, it actually shows how many years it would take technically to mine one block on an average of two terahash. You can see here at the two terahash range, it takes around 7,500 years on average to hit a block. But here is just a solo chance.com and you can basically type in your terahash rate and then it'll give you the chances per block. So because it's 144 blocks per day, you take this number, which is 367 million, and divide that by 144. That gives you the chance of hitting it in a day. So you have two, so you have 2.5 million there. So that's in one day, but we need to actually scale that up to a week. And because it's going based off the ratio of one block right here, so one in 875,000, we can actually compare the odds there. So keep this number in mind. And all we have to do is do 2.555139 divided by seven, because it's seven days in a week, and we're going based off a week time frame there. So that gives us odds of one in 365,000 per week. So already, when you scale it down, it's about half the chances of winning the jackpot lottery at a prize pool of five million. And as we stated at the start, if you have lotteries in the hundreds of millions, the odds of winning are obviously going to get higher. So it might be like one in 100 million to actually win that. But it's showing here it's around half the odds of actually playing the lottery and you get to play it every day. That's one thing that in the lottery, you can buy as many tickets as you want, but you have to keep paying for those tickets. With Bitcoin miners, you only pay once and you get to play the lottery basically every block that is mined on the network. So for example, 144 blocks per day, and then we times it by seven to give that figure at the start, that means every week you get to play 1,008 chances at the lottery. Now, if we times that by, let's say the average ticket is $10, that's $10,080 that you would spend to get that amount of tickets per week. And that far outweighs the price of these actual miners so you have this one is around 100 this one's 150 and this one's about 175 so nowhere near this calculation of 10,000 and then you might times that by let's say 52 and it keeps adding up so overall it's around 450 for all of them divided by 10 because maybe a ticket is ten dollars that means you only get 45 chances so you only get you know, a couple of blocks worth of chances to hit the lottery compared to Bitcoin mining. So the odds are actually really good compared to the lottery when you're Bitcoin mining. And this is the reason why a lot of these are very popular, these solo Bitcoin miners. Personally, the BitAx ones are probably the best. And then you have a bunch of them that are around three to four gigahash, which would give you kind of better odds, but you're going to pay more. Obviously, it scales up as well. And then you have just pure ASIC miners. And in theory, you could go with an S21. I know that the power cost is going to be very high, but when you click 270 terahash, you can see that the time estimate is around 51 years. So that's for an S21. I don't think that's countering in the halvings or how much hash rate is going to be hitting the network because obviously you can't factor in those things. You can factor in the halving, but you can't factor in the network difficulty 51 years down the line. But it's actually good odds in one day if you bought a S21 ant miner with 1 in 18,635. And I do want to state one of the most obvious things is that people are 
obviously mining because it's way better than the lottery otherwise they would just spend their money on the lottery and it has been shown in the past to actually pay off because we have seen bit axe miners and a lot of solo miners actually get lucky and hit blocks i think there's been a couple maybe three four five of them have been hit using small miners or lucky miners as they're called However, one other thing that I want to mention is that you only need a certain amount of these miners to be on the network for them to theoretically hit blocks every day. For example, let's say that you're trying to find out how many bit axes would need to be mining on the network for one of them to find a block viably within the day. I've landed on this number, which is 6 million terahash. So if you have one of these bit axe gammas, which we do on the end here, so let's click off this. This does around one terahash per day. So you can see there one to 1.2 terahash per day. And that means that all you need is 6 million of these BitAx miners to actually be working on the network for one of them to find one in one day on average. So one every 20 hours. So it's not that far fetched that that can happen in the future. There are other lucky miners out there that are also mining. So they're gonna add to that terahash and eventually I think we'll see more people buying into these lucky miners and running them solo. So there could be a world where bit axes or lucky miners regularly hit blocks. I know it has been very rare in the past, but if there's around 6 million terahash worth of these on a network, that means that it can viably find one per day. Now, if you wanted to go one per week, you only need 600,000, so around 600,000 terahash which equals out to 600,000 of these bit axes. So that's viably one a week, and then we can take another zero off, and that's gonna give us around three months. So only 60,000 of these. And I believe around 30,000 of these have been sold verifiably, and they only started last year. So if we put in 30,000 terahash, I know not all of them are the bit axe gamma, but let's just put that in for an example. That gives you one in 168 days. So around two, to 2.5 blocks on average should be hit every year with the amount of lucky miners on the network which is kind of tracking we've seen three or four maybe i believe in the past year since bit hacks has come out so i think we're going to continue to see more of these and they do have other models coming out with slightly higher terahash on there and as i said at the start of the video it's way better than actually playing the lottery so let me know your thoughts on this. If I have any calculations wrong or you want to correct it, please leave them in the comments. I don't think I did get anything wrong, but if I did, please leave it in the comments and I'll pin the comment to make sure everyone knows. Make sure to like the video and subscribe for more content like this.